Hey guys, this is your girl Zenobia, and again, welcome to my channel. So, what I'm getting ready to do now is, I guess I'm going to go to JCPenney's and check out what they have there. Um, and hopefully, uh, it's not too crowded. Um, yeah. So, yesterday, I just want to talk about something. Yesterday, I actually went to Ross, and... I was really disappointed um, with the behavior of the people here in Florida. The line was so long that it went all the way back to, I guess, where you actually try on clothes. So that means it was very, very crowded. So um, I decided I had my things, like some things for my office, and I decided to stand in line and because I wanted to purchase these things. Now, while I am standing in line, there was a young lady that was standing in front of me and she, I noticed that she didn't have a cart, she didn't have anything in her hand, but she was actually holding a space for her mom, which I kind of feel like, hey, that's okay. She can hold a spot for her mom because guess what? She's in front of me, so. If she's in front of me and I don't have a problem with it, then no one else should have a problem with it in back of me um, because it, I'm next, okay? So I stand in line and then um, it was almost time for her to go. So she was calling her mom like to tell her to rush, like, come on, come on, like, you know, you're next, we're next. And so um, her mom was trying to come and she started, you know, calling her in Spanish. And, you know, the the people in back of me, um, they were, they didn't care. They wasn't really paying attention to what was going on. But the people that were in back of, the person that was in back of me was basically so rude. They came out, the lady in back of me was like, um... You got to be kidding me. Is she is she going next? And I was like looking at the lady that was in back of the lady that was in back of me that was in back in back of her and just look back like that was so rude. Like she said something in in the form of this is ridiculous. Um and she speaking Spanish too. And I said, first of all, <laughs> do you know where you're at? You're in Florida. Yes, Florida. And Florida is a melting pot. Um, just like a lot of the cities that's in the South. Um, well, this is a state. And if you go to Miami, which is, we call that the bottom there's nothing but different speaking languages <laughs> in the south of, of Florida and central too. Um, you could tell this woman was not from here. I'm not from here. I'm from New Jersey. And even from New Jersey, you learn to respect people's culture, their language, um, their nationality. You know, you have some people that's not on board but you need to get on board because um how disrespectful can you be and so loud and so rude that the young lady the younger girl the girl that actually was standing in line in front of me who actually was um, very nice very polite she actually said to me um i am so sorry I, I told her i said you don't have to apologize what you apologizing for you stood in line for over 30 minutes and you stood in line and you had your time so they just need to wait and i don't understand why they were complaining anyway because they still have to wait they still have to wait they have to wait in back of me so um guys we have to do better i just feel like you know
made it to JC Penny's and hopefully they have something that I need um, like I was explaining in my other video that I come to JC Penny's because JC Penny's is very good for having business comfortable wear or just comfortable clothes period okay guys so we're going into JC Penny's and my other half actually met me up here. I'm so excited about their spring collection, so I want to see exactly what they have. I don't know what it is about black and white, but it gravitates towards me, or I gravitates towards it. I don't know what it is, but I love black and white. Okay, so I also need to look for some wrinkle-free clothing that's very important when you're doing an event look at this black and white blouse this thing is calling me it is calling me but I have to continue to look again for something comfortable and I gotta get out this area because it's nothing but black and white over here okay so I don't see exactly what I need over here I need to get out of this section before I get in trouble so look at here oh these are some nice fragrances hmm nice okay i need to focus on what i really need today and i don't need no fragrances today okay well if i don't find what i need then i need to go home and prepare with my husband for tomorrow we have um, a project tomorrow so guys i will see you later okay guys good morning this is your girl Zenobia and again welcome to my channel so today is going to be um, a project um, with our catering business so we actually going to go to Gainesville Florida to actually um, cook for uh, a class reunion and right now it is 5 15 a.m. in the morning I'm very tired and hopefully that you can make it through this video I'm just going to just show you, you know, how we set up, you know, what my husband does when he actually cooking. And so hopefully you can get some information from that. So guys, just come along with us today as we actually go to Gainesville, Florida for a catering project. Okay. I'll see you real soon. Oh yeah. Kobe is up now. Okay guys, so everything is prepped and in the truck. This is the last thing that my husband does before we get on the road. He makes sure everything is connected to the smoker and then we connect the smoker to the back of his truck. Let me show you the wood that he's going to use to smoke his meat. Okay guys, so we're ready. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are on our way to Gainesville, Florida. And as you can see, it's dark outside. When you're actually doing projects like this, you have to get up early in the morning so you can get to your event and prep before the guests get there. Okay guys, so just relax and just take the ride with us while we venture out on our journey today.
have arrived to the park. This is Cynthia Moore Chestnut Park located in Gainesville, Florida. If you're in a Gainesville, Florida area, maybe you need to check out this park. It's a beautiful park for family reunions, class reunions, and just hanging out around the park. So it looks like we have the park manager waiting on us. So he will go over all the park regulations for us and where we need to park. How you doing, buddy? Good. Uh, I'm Freddie. Yes, I guess we you talked to Jerome. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, wow. So there's not, and that's the fire lane there. Yeah, so they want you to put it kind of behind those boulders there. On that it's, side? Yeah, but that thing's pretty big. I don't yeah, know that's what I was there. telling him, how I'm going to get it in there. I, I don't have a key for the gates to get around. No, it's not, but it's just getting around. Right. Uh, we might be able to squeeze a little bit somewhere over here. I hope. Yeah, if you want to, you think you can back in over there? Uh... Okay, guys, so after three tries, my husband finally got the smoker backed up in the spot they wanted us to park in. Okay guys, let's finish. Now here comes the fire. I will let Chef Red explain what he's doing. Uh, getting ready to light this fire. As you notice, I'm using a flamethrower, uh, a flame torch just to light it up. Uh, I don't use any chemicals. I don't use any lighter fluid, all natural propane natural gas, lighting the fire up just so that way we can get it going. It'll be a quick light as it gets started. And then uh, after that, I'll let it light up and then I'll put the wood on it uh, to get it going. So this is just the first part of it. You can see this is one side of the grill and I'll do the other side in a minute. Now we're lighting the other side of the grill. Uh, so it'll be an even cook. I'll put the wood on after it gets a good catch, a good catch fire. Uh, let that wood cook down a little bit, and then uh, we should be good. All right. This is Ribbons Event Planning and Light Food Catering. You got me, Chef Red, on the grill today. We're going to do it for the people. All right, guys. It's about 30 minutes into the cook. We're looking at this chicken. Got the grill going still hot, steady. We're at about 300, 305, 310. I'm trying to keep that even cooked. On both sides. Got the chicken going here. It's gonna get that fire kicking back up a little bit. It's trying to die out. So I'm gonna take another, put another log on there, open up some of these blooms and get some air. Then we'll get that fire kicking back up again. All right, we'll check back in in about a half hour, okay? Okay, guys, so this is the chicken, and it looks absolutely delicious. It has a nice golden coat on it, and this is the way it should look. It is smoked, so you make sure that you have the right wood in order to smoke it very well.
Okay, so this is a catering tip to avoid food poisoning and food allergies. Please clean your knives and cutting boards between each variety of meats. Okay guys, so this concludes my video and I hope you enjoyed this segment. If you're in the Tampa Bay, Florida area, look us up. Ribbons Event Planning and Light Food Catering. Or you can go to our website which is www.myribbons.net. This has been a lovely day as you can see a beautiful weather and everyone enjoyed themselves. So take care, bye bye, and thanks for coming to my channel.